Well, 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 look what finally showed up. Let's break into it. I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I just sucked snot out of my son's nose with my mouth. And now back to some holster reviews. Let's open this up and see what we got. Standard stuff, product information, warranty information. Uh, sticker I'll never use. Bag of hardware for a bit of customization or in case you lose something. Holster and an extra shell. We'll get into the shell extra one here in a minute. Uh, this holster itself is for my shield. Fits in there nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the good part about this holster, and this may meet your criteria for all you need, it is uh, comfortable, conceals well, carries well, and if you're already familiar with the company, is essentially dirt cheap. Now, if that fits your bill for what you want out of a holster, go ahead and buy one. Um, if you want some objective information from myself and possibly a reason why you may rethink your purchase, uh, keep watching. If I've fulfilled your need, then you can stop now. Uh, so the bad part about this holster, and I will take that out there, get up and show you some things overall quality on this is like a big fat D maybe a D minus um, first thing I noticed uh, based on all other images and videos I've seen on alien gear is they didn't even finish screen printing their own logo on their product strike one strike two if we can get it to focus is it came pre-scratched for me so I don't even have to uh, break it in thank you guys uh, edge where they made their cuts not great the part that's gonna bug me the most because they let it ship out like this if you see here where they punch through for the post my hand creates a shadow but there is an extra tear about a quarter inch same on this bottom post quarter inch and you'll notice also that the backing here is not flush. It's actually too low back here. And if we look at the stitching, it's already coming undone here. So as far as quality, well, also you can notice the blemish there on the clip. And same on this clip. So over quality, not great. Um, I hate to see that. Love to support American made products, but this one um, falls under the category you get what you pay for. Another thing that bothers me, I'm gonna pull this out of the hardware bag. Um, these spacers are essentially fuel line that you can get at and AutoZone. They even have the white cord in them. The part that bugs me, that's not the part that bugs me. That's what I understand, uh, you know, cost. And that's fine. What bothers me, and it's going to be hard to pick up, is they're not square. I don't know if they hand cut these or they have a machine that cuts them, but all of them are cut with an angle, so it has a higher side. Um, you could at least take the time to finish this off and at least have it be square so that it sits flat against the shell and the backing. Um, so overall, I'm not impressed with the quality of their product thus far. I will continue to carry it because it works, but I would like them to have put in the time and effort to finish it. Now, maybe they felt rushed to get me my product, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, but to me, that's not an excuse. So if you're not familiar with their business model, um, unlike your smaller companies uh, like Crossbreed, who depend on markup 
and a little bit of volume, uh, you know, to make a profit. It appears Alien Gear works solely on the idea of volume and very little markup. Uh, so they offer a, air quotes, quality product um, for a half to third of the cost of their competitors. And that way, a bazillion people order and they make a bazillion dollars. Um, the reason that failed is because they cannot keep up with the demand. Um, I purchased this holster almost exactly a month ago. My confirmation email did not indicate any lead time, though now they state all lead times are four to six weeks. The reason this pisses me off to no end is because when I was on their website, I was originally looking at the cloak tuck just to check it out, which is their leather version, and they had a big message that said, supply is limited on the cloak tucks we suggest looking at the cloak tuck 2.0 uh, for all practical purposes to me and probably most other people that means hey that's in stock we can get it to you now i was going to order this anyways because i liked the idea just a little bit better um, and so i did got a confirmation email no indication of lead time and i thought to myself Eh, weak tops. So at about uh, two and a half weeks, sent an email just asking for an update on my order, no response. A couple days later, sent another email asking for an update, no response. Uh, was on Facebook and they were suggested advertisement on my page, so I decided I'd go on and leave a comment saying, hey, tried to reach you uh, through email and no response. Can you get back with me on a order status update, please? I uh, got some posts said that the easiest way to get a hold of them would be to personal message them on Facebook. So over the next couple days, I sent two personal messages, no response. At this point, it became my sole mission to post every time their ad came up on my Facebook or they posted something new like an article from the NRA etc etc instead of answering consumer questions uh, so my next post was about the time I was taking to get my product um, I recommend going and reading actually the posts on their Facebook they're not great uh, they kind of give you a inside look of how things are going with alien gear um, but uh, they eventually responded and said, your order was delivered. Uh, if you need the tracking information, we'll give it to you. I said, I would love the tracking information since I never got anything about it and I haven't received a product. Uh, a couple days went by, nothing. So I posted again on their Facebook, this time a little more outlandish mm -hmm. and uh, satirical in nature. Uh, and also personal message them again and left them a voicemail on their customer service line after this last post they contact me back within five minutes uh, and the person said I have your order in my hand I'm personally going to walk it to the warehouse to make sure it gets delivered we're happy to send you a G19 shell as well as you requested which is why we have this guy now and I said, great, I'd like that overnighted. And they said, we don't have a way to overnight, which to me is a cop out. Uh, the way you overnight something is to call a carrier that offers overnight and say, hey, I have a package to ship. But that's neither here nor there. So he said, uh, priority mail, have it to you no later than Saturday. So they responded then on Facebook saying, I hope the resolution meets your needs. And I said, yes, it will if you can keep your promise. Uh, to me, we used to live in a country where part of business was your word and you kept your word to show the integrity and character that you had. And so I was holding them to this standard. So Saturday came and went and guess what was not here? That's right, this holster. So we got back on Facebook, let them know. They said you should have got an email confirmation again. I told you I don't have it. Uh, they said, we'll get you the tracking information. I said, please, never heard back. 
and I got home today and here was the holster. So my overall experience with their customer service uh, was an F minus. Now, I will give them credit for providing more than what I ordered when I asked for it. Great. But not being able to keep your word and deliver on time is a big strike for me. So I'm going to give this final recommendation. If you want a holster that is cheap, of questionable quality, but offers comfort um, and a decent carry, uh, order one. You're going to be waiting a long, long time um, and not getting a lot of help. Look at their Facebook now and they will tell you that they are four to six weeks behind and seven days behind on just customer services responses. Um, if you want a quality holster from an American company that will uh, give you great customer service, don't order this. I repeat, if you want a great holster from a company that will give you good customer service, do not order this. Do not stress it enough. They have not built an infrastructure well enough to handle their business and take care of their customers. Would I return this? Yeah, probably, except I don't trust their customer service to handle that either, so I'd rather keep it for what I paid. Uh, but that's it, Alien Gear. Uh, check them out at your own risk. As always, be prepared and God bless.